Now continuing coverage of a story we first brought to you earlier this summer. It's about saving a small church built by freed slaves, the effort to restore it and to keep their legacy alive. Great, great grandchildren of the founder got it started and today came the payoff. He became man that he may save you. Come on. All right. A spirited service at Logan Community Chapel at Shaw Creek and this one is special. The annual homecoming, the first Sunday of September, a tradition more than 150 years old. I don't know how many greats it is, but he started it, <laughs> John Wesley Logan. Arthur Logan's a direct descendant of the man who's laid to rest behind the church he founded, right next to the small cemetery where many other freed slaves are buried. Together, they built the first house of worship here right after the Civil War. This is Arthur Logan's aunt, Nellie Logan Mooney, along with her brother, Fred Logan. We first introduced you to the elderly siblings back in July as they toiled together, part of the effort to save a priceless piece of local history. It's a continuation of the task their great-great-grandfather initiated. They're trying to preserve it a century and a half later. We did a lot of work. Uh, it, was, it paid off, and I'm delighted. Nellie and others now celebrate their achievement. Plenty of gospel, followed by a good meal. This day is important to both young and old. Raised in this church, Bible school, ever since I was five years old, and you can imagine how many years ago that been. But this is where I was raised, and this is probably where I'd be laid to rest. This Sunday service embodies what's been happening at the site of this community church for generations, evidence of a job well done, then and now. You get that joy of feeling that God allowed you, and he must have had a reason. Like I said, if Martin Luther King had a dream, I had the faith to keep on. There is more to do beyond physical labor, creating a nonprofit to fund future projects, also work with the Historical Society, try to gain landmark status.